leopard gecko. It, like most geckos, is nocturnal, and it manages to get all the heat it needs from the rocks, which retain something of their warmth for several hours after the sun has set. This male is in search of a mate. She is less brightly coloured. They inspect one another. He collects her scent with his tongue and discovers that not only is she female, but she's sexually available. He's interested. He nibbles her neck and strokes her flanks, all part of his elaborate courtship routine. Population begins. This is the time in mammals and birds when the sex of the young is determined, but not in a number of reptiles, including geckos. Once again, it's temperature that profoundly influences their lives. The female goes away to lay her eggs. She has chosen a place where the temperature is about 31 degrees. As her body is the same temperature as her environment, she can't heat her eggs by sitting on them as warm-blooded birds do. So they're exactly the same temperature as the rocks beneath. After a couple of months, both eggs begin to hatch. The first to emerge is a male. And the second will be two. It's the temperature which has determined that. If it had been a few degrees lower, both eggs would have developed into females. <laughs> 